Welcome to the Enough Said Podcast. We're talking Season 2, Episode 19 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Dirty Half Dozen. That sounds like uh, one of the jokes from our after show. Uh, so uh, I am rambunctious Rob Southgate, and with me is... Juggling Jack Wengrowski. <laughs> and uh, Agent Alil. I thought you would for sure be Avenger Alil on this one. Oh, I was thinking of that, but you know, I'm I'm not an Avenger. I, no. I'll never be. No. Well, it's, they don't put you on the hurts. t-shirts because you don't look good in the black skin tight outfit. Oh, I do though. <laughs> Deleting that file. The ladies think I do. Maybe you're a revenger. <laughs> <laughs> He's a re something. So uh <laughs> Welcome so, back, everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So this was some episode. This one was jam-packed full of stuff. Um, what'd you guys think of this one? I mean, this is the one leading up to Avengers. This is the one before Ultron hits. Did you guys like it? Yes. Yeah. Loved it. I felt, yeah, I did. I, I liked it. I, it felt like kind of part two of last week where everything yeah. was kind of getting together. And now it's it's full on. It It started where last week's ended and then i think it went all the way to avengers i think it actually points out a problem with the show and that is it's something that could easily be fixed but they're they're putting a little too much effort on the episodes around the tentpole movie yeah i like what they did i this was awesome but don't put pump the brakes leading up to this point because we had a couple episodes where we're like, okay, nothing's really happening. It's going to ramp up when the movie comes out. But why? Why not tell your story, let it go on, and then have the event and have the one thing? I mean, because really all they needed leading into Avengers was the little tag at the end. Well, That's really isn't all they that, needed. Isn't that kind of what they did, really? Well, I mean, it I is, don't think but it you had can see a... a difference in what the show is doing, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree, and guess what? Joss, not Josh. I can't even guess. I can't even guess. He agrees. Whedon agrees. Uh, he, he does not like Agents of Shield. Really? Really? But it's where his did, brother where did you and sister in law? That oh, really... he did an he did an interview, and he and in the interview he said Coulson is still dead to me, and I'm like, what? I thought you yeah, were the one that brought sense. him back. He is because he was the head showrunner on it. Or did he have nothing to do with with this? I think he had. Uh, he, okay, here's what. Here's what. Some of the rumors that are coming out now that he's kind of done with all of this. And he's just waiting right. for the or more checks to come in for for the yeah, billions Ultron. that this is going to make. Yeah, he he basically said that he signed on that two year contract not to um to um. I can, maybe I'm getting this wrong, but I, I thought it was not to do the sequel, but to do the TV show. And then they're like, no, 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 we don't want you to do the TV show. We want you to do the sequel. Oh, so they they threw him the money and gave him the credit on the TV show for him right. to do the movie. Because it was it, it was something that like it was, it was a universe he was developing. He kind of oh, you know oversaw all the other movies to make sure that they were hashtag it's all connected and. <laughs> He thought that he was just going to go back and do the show, and that's kind of what he was. I don't want to say wanting to do, but you know, I I, I don't feel bad for these guys because I would love to be <laughs> in their in their in their right. spots. But I do I do see that when you see a lot of these directors making these movies. I mean, James Gunn even even said it himself, like making Guardians of the Galaxy. It just it's just so much. I mean, they're working twenty hour days and everything. Yeah, right. Again, again, boo hoo. Um, I would love to well, do yeah, that. And if it's so I bad, understand, why, I understand why is he? Why is he talking about projects other than Guardians? Like he's already talking about other Marvel properties. So boo hoo. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you know it can't but, be that bad. And and Joss Whedon actually this week said that you know as he's saying like yeah I'm done with Marvel. This is this is it. And then he said but if the right thing came along. So in other words, if they said hey Joss you want to come back and do Black Widow, he might say yeah how big is the check? Well I don't I don't know about even how big the check is. I just think he just wants some time, some downtime. Because I, I think, I really do think that after Avengers hit and how it hit, I mean, everybody expected it to be a hit, but I don't think anybody expected it to be a global phenomenon the way it, right. it became. Right. And then on top of that, you signed this 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 deal with Disney, 
and basically you are a part of all you know you have to look at and review iron man 3 you have to look at and review thor 2 you you know winter soldier all these movies that you had to have you, you know your piece and you're, you're going in and and you're kind of overseeing other directors who are your friends and you kind of put it in an awkward situation yeah right I, I well then the whole thing that happened with uh with ant-man with well, Edgar right yeah well, yeah he he's was... very vocal about that and he didn't he didn't care for how that whole thing went down and, and, he and even he's said still it, throwing that out there yeah he even said it that that was the best script that marvel has had bar none yet that that wow. Edgar Wright's script for Ant-Man was was phenomenal. So I, I don't know. I mean, again, you know, it's, it's you know some some people get upset. I mean, Favreau did the same thing. He you know after Iron Man two, he just did not want to be involved in this anymore. He came back for an Avengers check as an as a, an executive producer. He right. you know he came back for what ten minutes of screen time in Iron Man three. Right. Uh, you know, it's just you know they're getting their checks, but. I think I I do think that it's hard working for Marvel. I, I I think you're right, but then you've got the Rousseau brothers that are like, sign us up. Well, yeah, because we'll, again, what we'll keep they, going. Haven't, they haven't had the big hits yet. You know what I mean? It's like Whedon Whedon's been in the industry a lot, had had big cult followings with with Buffy and Firefly. All the Russos did prior to this were a few episodes of Community that really got them on, and then what you, me, and Dupree, which was garbage, and. And then, like, Captain you America. don't have that Blu ray. Come on, a little. I do not. That I and Drillbit Taylor, those are your two. That's your box set. No, I actually, no. I, you know, Owen Wilson, like, I like him with Ben Stiller, but I don't like him without him. You know, really? So. I like him in the, uh, in movies like, uh, Rush. Was he in Rushmore? He, yeah, he was in Rushmore. Royal Tannenbaums, remember yeah, him in that? Well, and Ben Stiller was in that. Yeah, that was great. Oh, uh, that's your criteria. It's got to have Ben Stiller. Well, I think they were at the well museum. Through. Those are your favorites. Actually, no, I, I, I haven't seen the second or third. All right, well, we're getting off the Marvel uh, Marvel bandwagon. Yeah, this right. back on. And um, this is this is Avengers night for you, Alil. We got to talk fast because I know it's I'm leaving coming. in less than an hour. I'm going to see it. Um, yeah, you are. But you know, so I, I think a lot of this and a lot of this show. I don't think that a lot of the movie, and that's and maybe why that's why there's the disconnect with the movies. You know, Marvel's trying to force it while their you know their head honcho right now for these two years doesn't want it, and now the well, Russos maybe, are going to step in and they're gonna they're gonna be the ones taking over from here. Maybe that's gonna fix it. Maybe when he gets out of there, it will allow them to fix that element of it. Yeah, maybe they can stop paying tribute to him because there's been, there were especially the first season there were a lot of Firefly references. Maybe they can stop playing that game and get down to business with this. And maybe that's why we're seeing this spinoff show. And I mean, he he there was a thing that came out today where he had a completely different direction for Daredevil, and he said, "Yeah, mine wouldn't have worked. He was going to go completely like bare bones, not not violent. It's like." Maybe, maybe it's best that he move law, on. Do your great order, couple Daredevil. of movies. Yeah, it's, do your great couple of Avengers stuff. movies and show us how to do an ensemble piece that way, and then move on to the next thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of like he, Abrams. You know, he's he did the two Star Treks. He's moved on. You know, could be Jack. You've gone quiet. <laughs> well, about, about there. Any time there's a pause, somebody kind of starts, and then somebody else starts talking, and and. It just, it was kind of interesting. I, kind I, of interesting. I'm looking. Hey, hello, we did it. We were kind of interesting. <laughs> Happens once. once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. We yeah. may have to transfer this to the Patreon account. <laughs> <laughs> interesting episodes are Patreon. <laughs> Patreon only. For, for the Patreon garbage only. you listen to for free, here it is. Here's some more. Right. No, but, you know, you, you look at this and, and, and you're you're right with, you know, just like last year, last season, season one, it ramped up right around the release of of Win- of uh, Winter Soldier, right? Mm. And you know, it did it again here. It, right. it did it was it great. A big... It was g- a g- terrific episode. This episode got me even if I if I wasn't hyped enough buying fruit snack packs and <laughs> the vegetable things with Avengers just logos don't get the on hot it, pockets, Doritos and. Whatever, everything with an Avengers logo has been purchased and it has been in my house, and you know we're you know, everybody's just eating it all up. Yeah, um, wait, Hot Pockets won't have them, not after that Coulson remark. <laughs> that was funny, <laughs> but see, that's what it was. Like this whole episode was like an extension because it's like funny quip, weird little yeah. line, great action sequence, 
Oh, yeah, let's it, it talk is. about that. Sky shooting the all the Hydra guys? That was amazing. Uh, no, the that best better... part was Ward's face. He looked at her because she didn't let it up yet. Like, he didn't know what happened. And all of a sudden, it's like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's no, I what happened to you in the temple. Yeah, that was amazing. But when she was shooting and rolling around, and it was like a video game. That was oh yes, the the one that shot was because it didn't cut. Yeah, it was all one. It looked like it was all one take because it was. It yeah. was it reminded me of that. You know, again, we'll go to Daredevil, but that one scene where he's fighting in the hallway, where it's just that one camera flow. It didn't look like there's yes. any cuts here. Although some of the shooting and punching looked to, to have missed, but hey, you know, I think they were trying for something unique. I, well, I thought that was so cool, but you're right. The ward scene was fantastic. So here's what I thought, you know, they've been talking about sky. Oh, she's not a super. She's an agent of shield. And I yes. think this would kind of reminded us that she's not just a super, that she's a trained agent. And it's like, finally it's, Oh yeah, that's right. She can do all that stuff now. Yeah. And then to top it off with a little blast, and, yeah, you know, <laughs> right. Like, like and, at the end, she just caps it off. Right. And that's what's, I think I was saying, and that's what I was saying about the, uh, the episode before where, uh, his relationship with, uh, Colson and Sky's relationship and the fact that she's a real agent is what's going to keep her in the midst of this team, yes. even though there's this kind of anti super movement. It's like, how is she going to fit in? Well, she's going to fit in like she does here. She's, she's an agent. She's going to be doing the tough fight scenes. And then, you know, just about the time you think she's out and she's, you know what, I'm going to give him a little, give him a little zap. It's, it's like, uh, remember the old TV series bewitched, like the old black and white one used to see reruns. You're going re to reference it to that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because she, you know, she was, you know, the whole thing was she wasn't supposed to be using her powers because she was married to a, a civilian, basically. She's a witch. And so, you know, she's trying not to use premise. her powers. And then, you know, Wait, and that's what premise? I think it's going to be. It's like, all right, okay, I'm I'm done kicking everybody's butt. Ooh, I'm out of bullets. Okay, zap. And then right at the end, she's going to, you know, it's, you know, you know, too bad. Zam. And then she's going to use her power. And then twinkle her so, nose. Dickie, dickie, dickie. So that, that might... <laughs> Does that, Wait, are we? Is this Battlestar Galactica? Does that no, that's Bitty Bitty Buck. Yeah, it's different. Does that make uh, uh, Fitz? He is the Paul Lind character, and <laughs> and then May would be May is in Dora, and Simmons is Aunt Clara, and Jack. You're right. It is bewitched. <laughs> oh, no. And Ward is Darren, and then they're going to replace him with a different Darren at some point, and it's going to be a Lil, but no one's going to ever mention it. <laughs> That's right. A little would be the man. Which, am I, am I Dick Van Patten or who is who was it? Dick Van Patten? <laughs> <laughs> They'll put a Dick, oh, Dick Van Patten mask on Dick, your face. Dick York and Dick Sargent. Dick Sargent. That's right. Yeah. Dick York. I'm like Dick York and I don't know. You're one of the dicks, though, Lil. Oh, that's one. Right. Of, that's one of the armies I don't want to belong to. <laughs> the right, Sarge Jack. Anyway, so go on, right. going on, man. Yeah, it, it just had some Let's great... Let's save it for the Patreon show, can we? <laughs> the magic of editing. So anyway, <laughs> I like the so, I like the fact that uh, you know, when we were talking about last time, the, the team actually assembled, yet they yes. all... As, as, well, as, Ward uh, had the best line, too, and he's like, oh, hey, we're all in one place again. That was great when he pointed it out. Yeah, and then they all just like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I shot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. Yeah. After he Although, gave that speech, <laughs> and yeah. like it was supposed to bring him back. Yo, what the what the speech was so bad. I don't feel bad for throwing you off a plane. I don't feel <laughs> bad for it's like all these things that he did. I don't feel bad for killing all those agents. I just feel bad for ruining our family. And I'm like, <laughs> but doing all that stuff ruined the family. So you should feel bad for it all. I, it, I don't. It I don't was, understand. <laughs> it was great when he said it because the whole time I was thinking the same thing. Like, what is he talking about? And <laughs> she's like, I should have shot you. You should have shot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe that Simmons took that damn bomb and <laughs> was going to kill him. Like how about, how about, there was and she killed the wrong guy. Eye. She killed Bakshi. That was great. 
Bakshi. Isn't that like a? Wait, is that like, what happened? Is is that yeah. what? Happened? Yeah. It's like I was so good because she, she went to throw it. She was gonna throw the scatter bomb onto Ward, and Bakshi like saved his basically yeah, he jumped in the way. And he, he said no. It. And yeah, he tackled him and and took the uh took the scatter bomb and then he disintegrated. And yeah. then the best part came after that. Like that wasn't even the best part. The best part was Ward gets his gun, he's got it on her, and he just says, you know, Simmons, I'm just disappointed in you, and walks away <laughs> and she starts to tear up. And then yeah. it was like, Oh, oh I, I gotta go. <laughs> we're you know, <laughs> we're in the midst of a mission. But yeah, that yeah. was the best part. He just like he just admonishes her like, you know, that's, you know, that's just sad and then walks away. Okay, we can't go an episode where it's not brought up. Uh the uh our favorite thing was was brought up again I, I, by Fitz, no. the sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Oh that Lord! Was, I, you know, I, isn't I, that I was the waiting for that? Like, I was isn't waiting. that the real oh, elephant great. in the room? <laughs> the real elephant. When he said that, and you could tell he's like beaming about it. I'm like, yeah, man, I get it. How about when they were sitting there and they were shipping Ward in 33? Did you catch that? Oh, right. They're, they're sitting there, just like totally. No, no. I mean, not shipping them. They were like doing the opposite because they're like, oh, they're trying to build a relationship here with these two, and the two of them just are tearing it down. That was great too. Oh, when they're or they're on the plane. That's right. When <laughs> they're like, "What is going on?" It's oh, yeah. so awkward. But but Fitz and Simmons are coming back together, which I think they're playing that well too. It took a while for us to get here, but it it feels like that's really gelling. Uh, Simmons <laughs> is we're getting a, a really nice defined character out of her, and I, I'm glad that it doesn't look like she's flipping. She's just aggressive. But but you're right. It's taking us. It's taken a long time to get here. Yeah, and the has. fact that we only have two episodes left. One is a two hour finale. It yeah. just seems like there's there's not enough time. Like, and that's that. I think that's the problem with the movie because with Winter Soldier, that happened in April, so they still had right, so they had six time. or eight episodes to flesh out all this stuff that happened with the fall of Shield and Hydra and all this kind of stuff. Now it's, it's like we next got three. Week, yeah, well, not even yeah. Next week they're gonna, you know, it's gonna be like aftermath of the Ultron robots, and then it's the finale, and it's like where where does the season go? One, if it's another one where they're just cleaning up, <laughs> I'm gonna be so you disappointed. If it was the whole episode of those them sweeping up robot bodies, I would love it. Like it should win, you know, an award. It would be pretty funny. <laughs> it would be hilarious. They're just sitting there with like those long, those big push brooms, just sweeping right. up robot arms and stuff. <laughs> they're like, man, you know, just talking. Man, I couldn't believe they did this. You know, just, <laughs> <laughs> just do a recap of the movie. Like, did you see when this happened? Sweep, sweep, sweep. Man, that Hulkbuster armor is really cool. Sweep, sweep. You know, it's just like all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I think I would love that actually. So. uh uh, let's see. What else did we miss in here? Um, well, we we didn't talk about um, Colson <laughs> and uh, and Gonzalez talking. Oh, and- wait, wait. I got I got one more line before we go to that. When <laughs> that's just cracking me up. When uh, Sky was talking about Ward, and then she goes, "Ah, he's like Candyman." <laughs> he showed up. I did love that. That was killing that. me. Okay, now <laughs> we can get into something more serious. Colson and Gonzalez. I've been waiting for this. So this was really good. They could have done more with it. But it was good. I agree. I, you know, I expected more of a more of a blow up, and it was more of a well. You know, he kind of wanted to go on the mission anyway. He was taking his team, so you know, it all kind of worked out. And then we've got the we've got the supers, so they kind of worked it out. The thing that really got me was May again. May like took it up another notch. Like you know, you know, she's a voting member, and you know that she wasn't in on the theta. Theta I'm protocol, go with and then I said last time, I don't think yeah, that but, I don't think she's acting inappropriately. No, she's not. You know, in- Mar- Maria Hill agreed with me because when he's talking, did you see her roll her eyes when when Colson was talking about the vote? Just like, yeah, they actually want to vote about stuff. And oh she, yeah, she, yeah. She gave the like, what? He said, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, she knows uh, Gonzalez. She knows this whole thing. So he's an admin guy. That's what she's reacting to. She's more action. Obviously, Colson is more action. Gonzalez is admin. He's the guy that's, you know, did everybody get their paycheck? 
Right. And I'm going well, to <laughs> send you guys, you know, we're not memos. We're, we're missing the best line between them, though. It's here is Fury's black box. Yeah. And, you know, it's yours for now until he comes looking for it. And he looks up great. at him and he's like, huh? Spoiler. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, that, <laughs> was, he was that was amazing. <laughs> like, ah! I was like, yes. That was <laughs> you, amazing. Gonzalez, forget you. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, yeah, like you're the real shield. Yeah, I know Nick Fury's still alive. Yeah, take a vote <laughs> right. on that. And and oh, yeah. Maria Hill's calling me, and you're not invited to this meeting. So, uh, bye. I, I gotta <laughs> go. Yeah, you know your whole plan to be the real shield. Um, yeah, not so good. No, <laughs> yeah, because uh, Shield is about to they, be kicking some serious butt. And oh yeah, you're not invited. You want to vote on that? Uh, oh, yeah. sorry, Shield Did doesn't work know? by folks. Did we know 100% what Theta Protocol was before tonight? Oh, I know months ago. I mean, come on. Everybody knew that. You knew that it was the Avengers. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Because I I mean, I figured it was something like that. But tonight when she's like, Theta Protocol, and she's like, we need to bring in the Avengers. Okay. So now we have a term for it that they use. That's their hidden thing. Um, Loki Scepter, going to play a big role in this next movie, huh? Well, and that skips a big part of Reyna. Because you know, she's been having these little precog things, which makes her the first one of her kind to to really have that. And she sent Sky on that little mission, uh, little rescue mission, whatever it was. And you know, at the end, Raina's eyes roll back in their head, and that's how we find out about it. Right. So, man, it, it was a great, not only a great transition, but you know, it puts a lot of the focus back on Raina and. Uh, did you catch the little thing in the end where uh, the uh, Sky's mom is talking to Cal and say, so what's her deal? He says, she's pretty devious. You're going to need to keep an eye out on her. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I, I understand, and I, I do. I didn't like that part with Raina. I didn't like her going into her little trance and, oh, men of metal and blah, blah, yeah, blah. It, I'm like, it ah. seemed very forced. Seems exactly. Very it's like uh, we know what's gonna. We know what Age of Ultron's about. You could have. You could. All she should have said was, you know, something about the scepter, and that's it. Yeah. Tease that, and they and, didn't need that second part. No. It got cheesy at that part. It was just. Yeah. It, it wasn't. It wasn't needed, and I think it was like you said. It was forced. It's. It, yeah. they, they already forced enough. They already. They already gave us what we wanted. They teased it. Coulson said, assemble the Avengers or get the Avengers. I can't remember the exact time. That's it. Well, I don't know. And and we saw the scepter, which was cool, but then be done. Well, I don't know, though. If we had seen something more, then it would be just like another movie trailer. But I think it was enough other detail to tell a little story. And but we just got the video of the of the scepter. And I thought that was I thought that was well, because it just doesn't. You're not going to have this whole scene without any other text. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but I just, I, I agree with Alil. I think that was kind of because drag right there when she I said was, that. Actually, it's funny because my reaction was, I felt seeing the scepter was more fake than her, you know, having the, the precognition and telling the story, you know, what she's seeing. And then, oh, there's the scepter. You know, you know, thank you for the but the scepter, the Avenger the, moment. The, the scepter was it tied in and actually it reminded me of Winter Soldier with Black Widow when she had her other mission for Fury, right? Similar to what Coulson did here to May. You know, he didn't tell right. May what he was doing. She's like, "Come on!" And he's like, you, "Come on, we've got you know, we're doing the mission." And he's he just smiles at her like, "Oh, right, he has another mission, and that's why he didn't want to tell her." Right. And, and I think it worked because that's what he was looking for. That is right. what he was looking for. Yes. He knew they had that. And that's yeah, see, it, that didn't bother me at all. I agree with you a little. Totally. It, it bothered me with the, the metal men and blah, me blah, too. blah. I'm like, ah, you know what, Jack? I was thinking about during the, the thing with Raina, and I, I, I'm surprised we haven't thought of this before this season. But you remember last season, you and I kept talking about how they kept saying there's no clairvoyance. You can't have clairvoyance. Here's Raina with precog. And she's the, oh yeah. She's the real clairvoyant. I didn't yeah. even think of that. Holy cow. You're right. And and oh. tonight it, it, that hit me when I was watching it. I'm like, Oh, come on. You know, and how is the this? Clairvoyant. They spent so much time establishing that didn't exist. And here it is. The character involved in it is clairvoyant. 
Yeah. And then didn't we say that anything they say doesn't exist turns out to exist? <laughs> right. Didn't we say, I don't think we said it back then, but that would have been a mark my words moment. Oh, see, that's we just why didn't we have it. it. I need them to say we that a little doesn't know yet. Sense. We could yeah. replay. I mean, you can you can go back and play that episode and you can hear it. And, you know, you will pretty much say yourself when you listen to us back then, you will say they marked their words. Yes. Yes, we did. So you want to so talk about the it? movie? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you want to talk a little about about the movie? Uh, no. I'm gonna, uh, I want to save it. I'm excited. Well, I, mean, I just want to wait. No, well, the wanna... scene, you, we got the little scene with uh, Cap fighting Ultron and Black Widow. Yeah, I'm excited. I I watched a bunch of the interviews on the the talk shows. Uh, I'm kind of hoping if I don't get to see it tomorrow, I'll, I'll see it the next day. And and a little, you're seeing it tonight. Tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. I'm going all Sunday. three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's yes. got a problem. Taking one kid you know at a time. Although I, I I do have to say that that scene of Cap fighting Ultron. Now I, we've seen other stuff, but the shot tonight that they showed Ultron looked super crappy. In that shot, yeah, when he was like I, hovering over the bus, I was like, "What? What are these effects?" Uh oh, did I you guys thought, think that? I thought a little bit of the same, and then when they were like, they were you know struggling against each other, whatever. I'm like, "How is Cap this strong against you know it, this robot?" Yeah, it, but you know what? We've seen that same scene in the trailer, and it looked amazing. So I don't know what this was that we saw. I have a feeling it's going to look amazing in the movie. But that yeah. was there was something weird there. It looked like he was like an unfinished piece of, piece of CGI, and uh, yeah, I don't know. And when she th- like it, all the maybe it was just edited strangely, but even the stuff of her throwing the shield to him was not. There was something not as cool as it's been every other time we've seen it. Huh. And every other time maybe I've seen it, I've been like, "Wow, oh my gosh, it's killing me." Maybe it was one of those things where they put a trailer out before the movie's made. You know, they have a little couple little scenes that they throw out, yeah. and, and this was yeah. a, a pre thing they chopped together. Yeah, it could be. It just, but yeah, he looked pretty cheesy, pretty cheesy. I I think Last Starfighter might have had better effects than that little bit we saw. No, <laughs> no not at all. <laughs> the Roger Corman Fantastic Four had better effects than what we just saw there. Uh, <laughs> another classic. At uh, which I've reviewed. Yeah. And you own. Uh, no. Why? You know, why don't they put out figures for that? I would buy those. Because they would just <laughs> fall apart because they're so bad. <laughs> that thing that looks like a big <laughs> turd. I'd get that. It doesn't look any worse than the one in the new movie. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? The one shot looks awesome. The shot that they released recently, though, looks terrible. I think it looks as bad as that Roger Corbin one. That rubber crap. It's like dollar store thing. Not my thing. Get it? All right. Can we end this thing? Alil has got to get to Avengers. Thank you for listening, everybody. This has been Nuff Said. Uh, You can find past episodes of this and all of our other podcasts at our website, which is www.southgatemediagroup.com. You can also support us on Patreon at uh, patreon.com backslash Nuff Said Podcast. Uh, the way people are doing it is they're just doing like a monthly subscription rather than per episode. Uh, that way you can give everywhere from a dollar to whatever you want to give. And if you do that, you get our special Patreon exclusive daredevil episodes, men in red tights. And that would be the three of us. And, uh, you can also access that by going through the website too. And find us on Twitter at Nuff Said Podcast. Find me at R Southgate. Find the company at SMG Pods. Find us uh, at various Comic Cons. We have been doing a lot of panels, and uh, we've actually done Nuff Said live at some panels, which has been a lot of fun. So if you're going to a con, uh, check and see if we're on there, because there is a chance. We've been doing a lot, especially a lot of libraries lately. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Alil, do you want to give your information? Yes, I'm at L-O-G-E-E-K-Z, and that's for the League of Geeks podcast, and that's Geeks with a Z. Yeah, because you are hip-hop. A little bit of hip-hop. <laughs> a little bit. A, a little bit, yes. I, a Jack, little bit. Oh, terrible. Yep. Jack, Jack. I'm at at, uh, at Jack Wengroski, also at the Bosch podcast and the Blacklist podcast with Melissa Maxey, and she's also got some fan pages on those two and trumpet talk and yeah if you're a trumpet dork you can find jack's new trumpet talk podcast 
That's right. And a little bit of news. Uh, played with John Cicada today. And Ooh. our band at school got the, uh, we had the Downbeat Awards. And we were the outstanding jazz band in in the country. Nice. Very good. Gotta love that, man. Congratulations. Uh, John Cicada was actually a U of M graduate. And Pharrell was supposed to come. And because of his commitments on The Voice is not going to be available but yeah it's an exciting trumpet that stuff. makes me uh, unhappy thank you <laughs> a lot of exciting trumpet stuff coming on so if you are a musician check that out and i think that's about it i think that's it let's just wrap this thing up a little get your butt to avengers that's right avengers assemble all right that's it enough said enough, enough said, said. And welcome to the Enough Said podcast, uh, our Patreon subscription account, where we're talking Daredevil. And tonight we're going to be talking about Daredevil episode five, World on Fire, and episode six, Condemned. Yeah, now, guys, man. Uh, World on Fire, uh, it, it, it was the start, the start of the Kingpin Daredevil head to head. Yes, I mean, this is what we've been waiting for. This is it, man. Yeah, this is the this is the start of the end. This is yes. where they're they're on their road to a, a a huge grudge match here. And and what I loved about these the this episode was 